many of you, me and the staff here at JFCS are continuing to work, but we're working from home, we're working remotely. We're still helping people who need support, who need assistance, but we're changing how we deliver services. We're doing it from our homes, we're doing it over the phone, and we're doing it through the internet. There's three things in particular that we're seeing right now in our community that are the top needs. The first one is employment. As you know, there have been a lot of layoffs from businesses and there continue to be even more layoffs going on. So our Career Development Center is helping with job searches and helping people to navigate the confusing unemployment compensation system. The second thing that we're focusing a lot of energy on is food insecurity. Food is the number one need right now in our community and in many communities across the country. Our food pantry is open, people are still getting supplemental food, and we're working with agencies throughout the county to make sure that people who are in need of basic food are able to get what they need to survive. The third thing that we're seeing that's causing a lot of concern is the technology divide, with some people having easy access to technology and others um, really limited in their ability to access technology. People who don't have easy and reliable access to technology aren't able to get the support and the assistance that they need. At JFCS, we're working with people to try to support them and, and help to facilitate that as much as possible. We're, as a country, experiencing a, a serious crisis, and that crisis is no different in our community here. We're providing support to help people get through this difficult time, but clearly we can't do this alone. This is a public health crisis and it's a financial crisis. So what can you do? The first and most important thing for you to be able to do is to stay healthy, take appropriate precautions, follow the guidance of the Centers for Disease Control, also get whatever relief you're entitled to. Uh, people are going through very difficult financial times right now and there are services being offered by the government that you should be taking advantage of to help get you through this crisis. And speaking of the government, the next thing you can do is reach out to your representatives and make sure that the government is doing what they can to help us get through this crisis. And finally, stay strong emotionally. Do what you need to do in order to remain emotionally healthy. It's very easy to experience cabin fever and to get uh, anxious and uh, frustrated at the lack of mobility that we have right now with this stay-at-home order going on. So it's important for us to uh, do what we can to raise our spirits and to raise the spirits of people around us.